What's up my love bugs, love mothers, it's Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. And I am going to be reacting to Tina and Terrell's video. It's not my first time hearing the song though, so I'm just being honest with you all. But I wanted to react like a different type of reaction. This reaction is like on me giving my opinion from a mother's point of view on how I feel about their uh, whole song. You know, the uh, lyrics to it and you know. I'm very proud of all of my kids and uh, I'm not going to be doing a lot of talk. So let me just get right into this video because I've been told y'all a whole life story. Okay, so here we go. Hold up, baby. Let me relive that moment with you. And words to that is very touchy, and I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go back because I want to get into it with you. Let me get down on the ground with you, baby. by yourself. got something to say listen to the first verse of the song from a mother's point now this is what you be trying to keep your children from mothers y'all feel me when I say this we have lived the life y'all I'm talking to all the teenagers all the kids right now we lived the life we experienced it we know the red flags. We know how that picture is going to turn out before you do. And y'all figure, how she know that? How do parents be knowing stuff? It's because we didn't already had the same picture, the one that road that you're going down, we went down that road. So we, we, we standing back now as pillars and we see the whole picture while you're inside the picture. And this is all we be trying to keep from happening don't a mother want to see their child hurt period so we say things like uh-uh watch that person oh no nah, my my flag is up on that one um we have a we, we can see through them you know what i'm saying people be see-through and um so i'm saying in general as mothers you know you you know what if that friend is any good when when that son or daughter come bringing them home you know so and that's all we be saying. We be trying to prevent these lyrics or this pain from happening. But on, on, on the other hand, it, it must it must happen. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why after this. A lot of people say this is nervousness in her voice. You can hear hear the little nervousness in it. But what that uh, the little shaking is, y'all, that's pain. And when I first heard this song, they played it for me. I was going down the road and I was listening to it. And you never know what your kids is going through. 
you, you never know what your kids are going through. And that's what I wanted to say. If how, how could they know, how could they be strong? This is what they say in the church. If I never ha ever had a problem, how would I know my God couldn't solve them? So I'm going to take that and say, if you never experienced a problem or any, went through anything, how can you live and learn to know anything? If that's the way I can put it. So that's what I want to say. Some things we have, us parents have to lay back on and let our kids bump their heads. This is the reason why our kids need to bump they, their heads on their own. So they, they experience for themselves. You know, we figure, well, I'm your parent. I'm telling you before it happened, don't bump your head. But now I can see from their point of view is, no, I got to bump my head so I can live and learn. So I can sit back and watch mine. That don't mean that I'm not going to give mine advice or I'm, I'm not going to tell them which way to go. It just means that, you know, I know what they're about to go through and I can warn them here and there, maybe stir them a little ways. But if they go head on, all you can do is just keep your hand there for cushion because they're going to hurt. They, they're going to bump their head, y'all. That's just going to happen. That's just life. And it's just going on down and on down the line, so on and so on and so on. We all been through that. Now, I guess that's just human nature. Y'all be killing me, you, Queen, Terrell, all this cussing in this song. Like I say, he, she say, well, we can express ourselves better. Okay, I, I ain't about to judge. I ain't here to judge. I just want to listen to the lyrics. Okay. I hear your pain, though, baby. <laughs> Son is wise. Now, uh, your kids will be around you all the time, and when they go to when they, when I heard these lyrics, I'm like, well, I can basically see what Tina had went through, but just overall, you'd be like, what you going through? Like, what y'all going through? Y'all around me every day. I see y'all every. What you what you going through? But I'm not around them 24 seven because they're around their friends, and so I'm like, hmm. So that's what y'all out there doing or whatever. You know, you never know. But he, he's spending some. I, I like the fact that he's rapping, saying things like this instead of, I'm a robber and kill you. Walk to, walk, wake, wake, walk to, wake, 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 you know, wait till you walk out the store and kill you. You know, stupid stuff. You know, like rapping about murder and drugs and sex and all of that. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm to give her attention. Learn to how she did me dirty. Wasn't really intended. But I ain't no stupid ham. Why would I give her the finish? So it's fuck you. Grab that liquor like a drunk dude. Put the alcohol up in my cuss like I'm in med school. Blow a cookie woods off the zip just like a bed do. Thinking on how I should have never ever met you. But, oh. I don't understand y'all language. Like, what's cookie woods? What? What's... At first, I, you know, I had to listen to the song when I was listening to his part. I'm like, huh? Oh, okay. A little psychology part to it. I like when he says, um, go ahead, grab a liquor like the drunk do. Pour the, uh, alcohol in my cuts and like you in med school. I kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, wow. It's, you know, it's got a way. Young people got a way of putting words today and stuff. And, um, I hear, I hear him say about you know, the Hennessy, I mean, I don't, I think that's what he said at first when he was saying about the Hennessy, sipping Henny, sipping Henny and, and um, perk and smoking and all that type of stuff. You know, these are things that you don't want to happen to your children along the way. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all in the end. I'm just. I guess it's cool. Me just being me and getting played like a fool. Sneaking behind my back and fucking all other dudes. I guess a loss is a loss, but I ain't the one to lose. Deep scars, deep, deep scars. Alright, baby, I ain't the one to lose. Come on. Deep scars, deep, deep scars. This 
part was so cute to me because at the end when it, you know I know you're wrong. This is Tina and Terrell singing this together and their voices together. I just thought it was so, that was so sweet. Cause they're so close y'all, two peas in the pot. You know, I know, you're wrong. Let me tell y'all from my point of view. A person could be around you 24 seven y'all and you never know what's going on in a person's mind. You never know what they're going through, what their thoughts is, what they're thinking. That's why um, you'd be shocked to be like so many suicides that happen, you know, among, and, and mainly it's our young people today that's hurting themselves, um, taking their lives and everything. And a parent be thinking like, man, I'm a failure. You know what I'm saying? But you're not a failure. You know, it's just that we have to find a way to like get our kids to open up and find out what's going on with them. Us as parents though, I would say this, we need to see signs. We need to pay attention to the signs, the red flags of uh, things your kids be going through. I was up on it because I went through a lot of things when I was young. And um, so I would see signs, especially in my girls, you know, and um, you know, um, signs like um, if they're sitting in a room by themselves, spending much time by themselves uh, uh, often, you know, um, no TV, n no phone, no radio, they just in their room, you know. Um, just being real quiet and standoffish, not coming around the family when everybody downstairs watch a TV or, you know, everybody's eating and they they don't wanna eat or, um, you know, we go on fun places, they don't wanna go, you know. Just basically to themselves, um, you see little different um, changes in their attitude and paying attention, especially, and this is a big help nowadays because back in the day, I guess, our parents didn't have this, but we have it as parents today, social media, you know, paying attention to their social media. Whether they blocked you off their site or not, there's ways that you can um, find out, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, other people, you know, we used to, um, text me and be like, hey, what's what's going on with, you know, your daughter or whatever. And this is back in the day before anybody was, you know, famous or anything. Hey, what you talking about? You know, um, just go, I mean, they'll screenshot me what they said or whatever. And I'm like, what's, what's going on with you? You know, you have to come and talk to them and stuff. And they would say like, oh, that's a song. You know, Queen used to do it a lot when she was young. They were like, Hold up, what, what, what does this mean? What, what you saying, you know, when you say this? Oh, that's the song, mama, she'll start laughing. But you still wanna pay attention, you know what I'm saying? And find out the signs and stuff. And you know, just basically what they write, uh, what, what they're saying, what's in their head. You know, I be wanna know what's in my kid's head. I'm sorry, because I be darned if I lose a kid, you know, off, off of depression. And I know that that runs, I'm not gonna say, yeah, it, it runs in the family. It's just like the generational, them curses and stuff, you know, and, um, you know, you can see the signs and know the signs of depression. And there is signs of depression, or was signs of depression or whatever, with Tina. And I knew I needed to, you know, at the time, I said, well, you know, I gotta get us all some help because a lot, we a lot was going on. We were just going through a lot of trauma at the time. And I'm not talking about social media wise, but things that, you know, in our lives and, th and things like that. So I paid close attention to her because she showed patterns like I did when I was young. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that um she would do. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, she's me all over again. And in so many ways, you know? And it's crazy how it's different. Queen's a lot like me. And then some size, like, Tina is a lot like me, but then I can see her father and her uh, more so when it comes to her, her, um, her attitude, you know? That's that Stewart side of the family, you know? And um, they basically people that, you know, I'm not gonna say they monsters, but you know, they don't play, you know? So it's kind of like the attitude, um, you know, they be ready to jump off at you. They don't care. Don't come at them, they coming at you. That's how they are. And, um, but you know, I see a, the other side of her is, you know, she's like me, where she's like me at, she holds a lot in, 
You know what I'm saying? And I was the type of person that I was better to write things out on paper. I can express myself more writing a letter to someone instead of saying it because I can't get my words right. Um, and that's how I was. But she is kind of hard with Tina because Tina does not write, you know, and I don't know, you know, where she's coming from unless I see those signs. And I thank God for the signs that he did show me, um, you know, of, you know, when something's going on, you know, the standoffishness, the quietness, and that's not her, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tina is not a crier. Um, Terrell's my emotional baby. That's my son, my only son. That's my youngest one. He is emotional. He's my emotional baby. He's real quiet and he's laid back, but he's very sensitive. Um, I'm talking from a mother's point of view, y'all. So don't be like, he ain't telling all they been. But I'm, you know, I'm their mama. You know what I'm saying? I'm just from a mother's point of view. You know your your kids. And so um, I'm concerned, you know, when he's, you know, Terrell don't talk. Terrell does not really talk. And it's like, it could be all three of us. Like when we was all home together, um, the level-headed one, you know, was me. And, but if I'm off my top flown off, the, if I'm off the top or off the uh, hookup, the level headed between the girls was T Queen. Queen was the level headed one. Um, the level head, um, now with all of them is Terrell. Terrell's like, let's know, let's just let you watch and see. You know, a lot of things I like to stand back and watch and see, like, hold up, don't hear them out first, or let's see where they're coming from, and then you know, we'll take it from there. And Terrell's like that in that area, he's like me in that area where. Uh, Queen is like, well, I just think if you ignore it, it'll go away. You know what I'm saying? I don't, don't even feed into it. Just let them, you know, say what they're going to say, blah, 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 blah. Or if it was any type of drama, you know, it was like, you know, just ignore them. They're just mad and jealous anyway, or they just want to fight. And, you know, that's how they rid fights or whatever was going on in the family or whatever. Tina. Tina, boy, she leaked my address so many times back in the day. That girl be like... I mean, I said, would you please get my, you know, she would just have my number on, or, I mean, uh, Facebook, like, yeah, pull up. She was quick. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm at 2216 Euclid, pull up. And I'm like, oh my God, Tina, you know what I'm saying? I'm sending the people to, to my address. I don't care, no, but we live here. So she was ready, you know, she did stuff. She was just always not level-headed. She was just always a type that, but she ready to run into it. But Terrell, he's a sneaky one. Terrell's a sneaky one. You know, um, he's a quiet one, and you don't know where he come coming from, and he's a walking time bomb. So, <sighs> Queen, she got her ways. She's a nice, nasty one. She's the one that's, you know, uh, okay, you think you're getting over now, but that's all right. I'm taking everything in. I'm not going to say nothing. She won't tell her business. She'll sit back. She'll keep it quiet while everybody around her like, you see that? Girl, say something. Girl, do something. Queen like, oh, I got this. This is my business. Let me handle it or whatever. And then, you know, before you know it, she's struck. So, she can be really nice. And she's still nice. Now, that she got from me. You know, during any relationships and stuff. You know, she's like real nice with it. You know, even after she broke up with you or whatever. She's real nice. That's how I was. I'm real nice. I ain't got to be mean because we broke up, you know really nice with it and still be cordial with the person but you don't want them back i'm not coming back to you no but i am a nice person if you if you uh need help along the way i don't want to see nobody suffer alongside of the road I, I i look out only because of the fact that you are you know my kid's father or something like that but as far as getting back you know you just don't have to be uh mean and evil when it comes to breakups and stuff or fight or drama there's a way that you can you know queen is like there's more than one ways to skin a cat terrell is like um well i'm gonna be real quiet because i'm gonna sneak the cat and tina is like jump on the cat now that's the best way i can explain it now when it comes to me um i wasn't always a christian woman so um I, back in the day i was like tina i'm jumping the cat i'm getting you i'm getting your dog too you know but being a Christian now, and I'm older, I think about, I sit back and think about a lot of things and I like to pray on it. And I'm not gonna lie, all the time is not a prayer situation. I may snap up at the mouth and get mad and say some things that I regret, but I'm gonna come back and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna apologize and I'm gonna repent because I knew there wasn't a way to do it. 
So I still got that temper there, even though God is working on me. But I wanted to say, Deep Scars, um, I like the lyrics. And I like the sound, the beat to it. Um, I like the lyrics only because these are the experiences that they have went through and that they have hopefully learned from. And as far as putting a song together, I like the lyrics. But I do not like the lyrics when it comes to what they, to find out that's what they've been through and that's how they were feeling. I don't, I don't like the lyrics when it comes to that. So that's why we as parents, everybody always stay out of their bed and let them live their life. You know, um, never tell a mother that. Never tell a mother that. Um, a mother is always concerned. Um, I may have, you know, said things, you know, amongst my, all my children, but if I did, it was only in love. It was never to poison them, be toxic or come against them, but it was only said in love. But now I understand that sometimes, sometimes it's not the way you say things. I mean, um, it's not what you said is what I'm trying to say. It's not what you said, but it's, it's how you delivered it. You know, and it make it come across pretty harsh sometimes, but dang it, you don't want to see your kids bump their head. You don't want to see your kids go through. Because from a mother's point of view, you like, you still see them in diapers. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't literally see them in diapers, but what I'm saying is they my babies. And I can still see Queen, Tina and Terrell's baby face. I watch Terrell sometime. I see, you know, mother, you know how it is, mom. You sit and look at your kids and you just, when they're not paying attention and when they're scrolling through their phone and you watch them walk around the house, you see the little baby jaws. You, you just think about things like when they were little and stuff like that. And by you, by me, I'm going to speak for me, by me being real close to my kids, it's like that's that protector that come out in you. You don't want to see them go through the things that they go through. But they must learn from their mistakes and they have to go through life making mistakes on their own so they they can have that experience on their own to grow from it so with that being said i'm going to end this video i hope that um you enjoyed this video and i um hope that i didn't say anything out the way which i know i didn't but you know i'm not saying it that's why i said from a mother's point of view but i'm fair so that's the doorbell peace out in jesus name be blessed